several guests that are here today. I was hoping that Dave would be here with his wife this morning because I knew their grandson was going to lead singing and with their son preaching. I was hoping this would be a Sunday you guys would join us, so it's great to see you. They also have a son who preaches in South Dakota, North Dakota, Tyler, and so, uh, you know, they're tempted to go up that dire direction also, so it's great to have you guys here this morning. Uh, there is no men's prayer tomorrow morning. However, ladies are going to meet tomorrow morning at 1030. Uh, rummage sale. The church is going to have a rummage sale on Saturday, June the 12th. Uh, there's going to be a need for volunteers uh, Friday, June 11th, and also uh, Saturday, June 12th for the actual, it's listed as rummage sale, bake sale, car wash. So uh, it's going to require a lot of volunteers, and it should be a fun time if we get enough people to all help out and just have some good time of fellowship together. Uh, next Sunday is potluck. It is the first Sunday, so are we for sure having it the first Sunday of the month? Next Sunday, June the 6th, will be potluck. Uh, currently, there are no men's or ladies' class on Thursday nights at the building until further notice. Both the men and the ladies both are just kind of taking a break for the summer months because there's a lot of people that are traveling. Larry, did you end up calling Fred or doing anything on Friday? <clears throat> um, Larry had uh, dinner with us Thursday evening, and I told him, you know, I've been watching the bulletin waiting on Fred's birthday. So I told him Thursday night, I said, hey, tomorrow's Fred's birthday. So Friday I called Fred, and he said, it's not my birthday. <laughs> so if you check the bulletin from last week, it's actually today, and it's clearly in there as today. But, you know, I didn't want to miss it, so being a couple days early, I guess, was... Along with that, uh, we, we didn't sing happy birthday, but there was a birthday last week, and it happened to be Christy's birthday. And Christy, I just want to tell you that I thoroughly appreciate your card ministry, uh, whether it's a get well card, whether it's a birthday card, a thinking of you card. You know, you enlighten a lot of people's day in a lot of ways, so thank you for that. And having been able to travel and go to the ark and the uh, things that you did for your birthday, you know, I'm, I'm thankful that you were able to do that. And kind of along with that, there's a lot of people traveling. So we've got prayers of thanksgiving for people who have gone and made it back safely and some who are not gone yet and some who are currently gone. But um, this is quite a ways out, but it kind of has to do with traveling. Some of you know our, our son, Justin Compton. He and his family are going to come and visit on Sunday, July 25th. They'll be here, so really looking forward to that. Uh, John didn't intend to lead singing, but... Uh, Deuteronomy 6, 4, and 5 is actually a great song, and every time that verse comes up in a lesson, I start thinking about that song, is here, oh, here, Israel, the Lord our God is one God, and it's really an awesome song. Next time I lead singing, that one might end up coming up. Prayer concerns. There wasn't very much in the prayer concerns, so uh, be sure and check the bulletin. Some of the prayers that are in the bulletin are current and up-to-date, and all you have to do is let Stacy know, and it'll be spot on. Thanks for doing that, Stacy. And uh, the only thing that I had as far as prayer requests for this morning were uh, to remember those who are traveling. So, again, that's now and forevermore because until we get to heaven, we're, we're on some kind of a journey. Amen? Let's go ahead and pray together at this time.